Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the karma reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Welcome, welcome back Capricorns. I love you guys. I missed you guys. I've been under the weather and super busy, but I always think of you guys. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Always, first and foremost, go to Heavenly Father God and your incredible spiritual teams and families for your most significant guidance. Trust God the Most High at all times. As we jump into these karma readings, please remember that I do these as preparation, reminders that they did not get away with hurting and betraying you. And it's best that we pray for these lost souls, hope that they repent with God first, right their wrongs with you and other people they've wronged, and change for the better. So pray for that. All right. Let's jump into the reading for those who have hurt and betrayed you. And just remember, um, take the reading as it resonates, as you choose. You all have free will. Exercise your free will. The overall energy is a blocked heart chakra. So they did not fully let you in. They didn't express things from a compassionate place. They did not lead with their heart when it came to how they handled you. Capricorn, this person was mostly in their mind. It lets me know that this person was very uh, 3D based. They were not connected to their heart like they should have been. And you guys were all in. You were connected to your heart. They loved your love and your nurturing, but you did not receive the same love and nurturing back. And you deserved to have somebody who was there for you emotionally, as well as spiritually, as well as mentally, as well as physically. They had no balance when it came to their heart. They was not in their heart and they should have been. You guys deserve better. These people are reaping what they have sown for taking your heart and your kindness for granted. Tower moments are rolling in. When I see this card, I know this is, it's really bad for them because what happens is they've let the karma stack up and now they are truly going through it. It's destruction. You know, they have to repent. They have to get on their knees and apologize to God. They cannot just give you verbal apologies. That's the last thing. Now, we are in a different time where these people who have created major offenses against you, they've done major things against you and caused heartbreak and the spell work and the psychological damage. Some of you guys may have experienced PTSD in relationships because of these people. You guys were truly broken down, heartbroken, and you've had to learn to pick yourself up and love yourself and rebuild and do the spiritual work, a lot of cleansing, a lot of healing. These people did not heal. They are on a self-destructive path and it's going down. It's coming crashing down hard on these people. So they're reaping what they have sown. They're, they're going to weep. I mean, they're going to cry. They're going to weep. They're going to break down. They're going to go through it. Things are not going to work out for them. They're going to face hardships. It will get worse for them before it gets better. They have to make the choice to do what's right. And that's the only option really because it, it's, I'm hearing doom and gloom if they don't. They're in trouble with the court. So... They may have lied on some documents or not showed up to court. I'm hearing fabricated, made up some things or did something fraudulent or they didn't pay your child support. They didn't pay their alimony. They This was a taker. You know, they take everything from you. And the sad part is you guys gave. You gave unselfishly. You gave godly love. You showed them what it feels like when somebody is a high value man, a high value woman, somebody who has kindness for who has caring and compassionate traits. You guys have those good traits that people pray for and long for. They got this out of you and did not appreciate you. And this is so distressing. I'm hearing to so many of you because you pray for these people. A lot of you still do, you know, and that's good to pray for these people. I'm here. They are not excused from their karma. They're not excused from it because you were so good to them. And never perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I know my collective, you guys did your best. You guys went all out. Some of you guys gave food. You gave your time. You gave your love. You gave from a genuine, true heart space. You showed godly love. A lot of you guys were trying to lead them to God. And a lot of them did not listen. They wouldn't do it. This was a complete heartbreaker. They were out here always cheating. They were very disloyal. You couldn't trust anything that they said. They never made sense. It like things never add up with this person. This could be a habitual liar or compulsive. I'm getting pathological. So all of the above, they don't tell the truth. They don't live in their truth. 
they I'm hearing they have a string of people that they have broken their heart in so many ways. I feel like even their family is broken hearted that they lost you. You guys had to move forward with your life and leave them in the past. You did the right thing for you. Okay, they were not elevating and you guys outgrew them. You grew to be in your alignment. You don't care nothing about their apologies. You've heard it before and you can feel more is coming in. Some of you guys are getting these apologies now. It's not good enough. It's not fair. It's not right. Like I said, words is not enough. A letter is not enough. An email is not enough. Them writing you this long 10 paragraph, three to 10 paragraph text is not enough. It's not going to fly. It's not going to work. You don't care anything about words because you don't trust this person at all. This was an energy vampire. You guys felt drained around them. You felt like you had to walk on eggshells. Nothing was really certain other than they were never dependable. You could not depend on them to be loving or loyal. But every time you guys made love, you were super drained. Every time you told them something that was righteous to help them improve and to heal and to grow, it was one ear out the same ear. This was a vampire. And this is why you guys felt so drained. Some of you guys are still recovering your energy. So if you're sleeping a lot or you find that you need more rest or when you're around these people, you were always drained or falling asleep. And you may have seen them do this too. It's because they take from everybody. They took your energy. They took the next person. They drained you because it was like trying to help somebody that don't want it. You know, they have a lot of addictions. I'm hearing like an addict and it's hard chasing after these people. At some point you get exhausted where you just can't do it anymore. You guys feel like they betrayed you for the last time. Whatever that last betrayal, it broke the, the camel's back. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. It was too far. Okay. You gave affection, hugs, and love, and time, and energy, and dating, especially for you guys who were in romantic partnerships. Some of you guys, this was just your family. You guys feel betrayed by your family, and you feel like they grouped up like a coven. They work together in pairs or in groups to go against you. Like this person turned a lot of people against you and it was all behind lies. These people don't want you to have joy. So they didn't want to see you happy. If you shared your dreams, they found every way to make sure they delayed it. They found every way to make sure they found the problem in it. Now their joy is being blocked. You guys are finding your bliss and your happiness and your joy again. Go after your dreams and goals. Don't let nothing and nobody stop you. Leave this cold hearted narcissist behind. And narcissists can change. I'm not a doctor, but I have dealt with plenty of them. A lot of them, unfortunately, from my own personal experience, don't want to change. And at some point, enough is enough. They're going down. Do not go down with them. Take the high road. If you guys need help, I have a narcissist deck. I have a spiritual deck to help you guys get closer to God, find your life purpose and all of that good stuff. And I also have a deck to help you guys date with intention so that you guys know the questions to ask. My decks are on sale. Read my description box below. In the description box, feel free to reach out as I'm a life coach. I serve God. You know, you can call me a, a mass. Uh, um, you can call me like a. Um, I get it called a lot, like a prophet or people will say an orator, a speaker. I've been a professor. I've been a teacher. I've been so many things. A nanny and just every. I've been so many things. I've worked with kids, elementary, middle, high school, college. I help people through life coaching. I've I've worn so many different hats. Um, caregiving and, and all but I, I serve God and I'm always going to help people to the best of my ability so reach out if you need it I will help you to the best of my ability some of these people are struggling to find themselves yeah as you guys know they're totally lost you know these people are in their head about everything they can't trust anybody because they cannot be trusted they project things onto you they try to slander your name and they've betrayed you too many times and it's just enough is enough you guys are tired of having that bleeding heart. You don't deserve that. You have to do a lot of repair work when it comes to soul search, soul searching, soul repair, and you will get there. You guys will do it one day, one step at a time. It is a process, but it's worth it. Do the work. If you haven't got there yet, keep walking. These narcissists, it's a, it's a condition about, uh, it's a medical condition where these people, it's a mental thing. These people are very arrogant and it's a ton of things that go with them because there's different kinds, malignant, covert, and overt, all of them incredibly sneaky. All of them are liars. All of them project their hurt and pain onto you. All of them turn people against you. They're very convincing because they've been lying their whole life for so long, for many years, decades even. So they can't find themselves. They can't find the light. You were sent to bring them the light and the truth and lead them to goodness, to God, to blessings and their own abundance. While they tried to block yours, they block their own because you come with the abundance. You come with the love and the care and the kindness 
and the selflessness to give to them. You were very giving, very loyal, very understanding. You brought that kindness that they were not used to and they mistreated you. They mishandled you. They treated you like everybody else. And it ends with you. It stops here. You guys deserve better days, better things, more opportunities, more blessings, good karma. Stay on the right side of God and you guys will accumulate good karma. Let these people go through their towers. These harsh lessons is how they learn and as if they choose to learn. But you guys stay good with God. That's what's most important because God got you. Somebody, somebody may need to read Palms uh, 1. I'm sorry, Palms 91, I believe. Read Palms palm in the um, yeah, Psalm. I'm saying Palm. It's Psalm, but it starts with a P. Psalm in the Bible um, for protection. Read the Bible. Read it to your kids. Yeah, palm. it's Psalm. I don't know why I want to say Palm. It starts with a P, but it's Psalm, I believe. Uh, the P is silent. But it's in there. Read that if you guys need it. There's some Bible scriptures. Put God on the job. He got you guys. You guys will find your strength again. You guys will find your glow. You will have upgrades and love and blessings. Focus on your goals and dreams. Good things will come to you. Let these people go through the towers that they created for you. They have fallen on their own sword. What they plan for you is what they're going to have to deal with in folds. They're going to reap what they've sown until they get it right with God and you and the people they've wronged. Give it to God and focus on nothing but happiness and abundance and take care of you. Okay, take care of you and your kids. You guys have wonderful things ahead. Okay, Capricorn, this has been your karma reading. I hope the messages resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. Remember to pray for these people and definitely pray for yourselves. Keep yourself safe and protected at all times. I'm sending you all so much abundance, happiness, love, and light, and all that wonderful stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Capricorn.